Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nicholas Melillo, Chief Blender and Tobacco Purchaser for Drew Estate. I'm here at the Drew Estate corporate offices, and we're here discussing how to light a cigar. Now, lighting a cigar is very important. Why? Because it can completely affect the blend of a cigar and the flavor of a cigar on how you light it. For example, lighting with a torch lighter. A torch lighter can get up to 2500 degrees. So I recommend when lighting with a torch lighter that this blue flame never actually touches the tobacco or the cigar, any tobacco in the cigar. If that blue flame does touch the tobacco, it can cause the cigar to burn very hot, thus affecting the blend of the cigar to smoke very hot and potentially bitter. So when lighting with a torch lighter, hold the cigar a decent distance away so you begin to toast the cigar. You can see it begin to toast. I toast it for a little bit, get it nice and warm, and then bring the cigar up. And again, never actually touch that blue flame against the tobacco. Another method for lighting a cigar is a soft flame lighter. Now a soft flame lighter burns about half the temperature as the blue flame lighter. So if this flame actually does touch the tobacco, it's not as big of a deal and won't affect the tobacco as much. Now I wouldn't keep it there for a long time, but again the same principle, toasting the cigar, getting it nice and hot, ready for the flame, and then lighting. Again, you want to warm it up so you get the tobacco used to the temperature and then light. Now again, if you don't get it completely burning or completely lit, any well-constructed cigar should correct itself if you leave a little bit of the corner unlit. Another method of lighting a cigar is the match. Now it is generally recommended that matches or cedar are the best form of lighting a cigar. Why? Because it has more of the woody characteristics that can add to the flavor of the cigar, it won't affect the flavors of the cigar. Again, same principles as a soft flame lighter. You want to toast the cigar slightly and then you want to light the cigar. The last method of lighting a cigar is cedar splints. Now again, cigars are traditionally aged in humidors or aging rooms in cedar. So it has always been recommended and many believe that cedar splints is the best form to light a cigar. It's a little bit more difficult, a little bit more time consuming, but again the same principle as a soft flame lighter or match. You want to toast the cigar a bit, a little bit more difficult, you want to pull that flame up through the cigar. Again, you never really want to put direct flames onto the cigar. The idea is to pull the flame through the cigar and rotate it to get an even burn throughout. Um, again, it is important that the whole circumference of the foot of the cigar is lit, otherwise you're not experiencing the full blend of the cigar. The idea is to take things slow in order not to heat up the tobaccos too hot so they smoke bitter and you can experience the full glory of the blend. Again, conditions have a big part into what method of lighting you're going to use. You're not going to be using cedar splints most likely on a windy golf course or while you're taking a hike or on a windy day. Uh, torch lighters are great, but again, it's very important that that blue flame does not touch the tobacco and that you do not affect the blend of the cigar. We hope these videos were very informative. This is Chief of the Broadleaf signing off from Miami. Peace.